Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 16th of December. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director at Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is the weekly video where I take your requests and analyse the share price charts. So this week we have NextDC, Novonix, Sonic Healthcare, Gallon Lithium and ComputerShare. So if you have a request, please send it through. Make sure you've signed up to the free newsletter, but if you would prefer our best tips, you need to get the Dynamic Investor Report that comes out every Tuesday. But if you do enjoy these videos, I'd love you to share them on social media or even leave us a review. Our main business is in portfolio management. So if you'd like to have a broking account with me and, and have me personally let you know if I think it's time to buy or sell something, then please give me a call. And all the advice here is general only. So we've got a daily chart here of Next DC. Um, we could see most recently it, it rallied up to retest last year's high, but instead of consolidating under it, it was sold down pretty sharply here at the end of September. So that was a bit of a negative sign. Um, since then, it's managed to find some support around 1150, but you know, it's still very volatile. It hasn't really settled down. So it's tried to rally pretty strongly on a few occasions and um, just can't make any progress. So look, I'd say it's hard to buy it just here with all this volatility, um, but clearly if it was to fall under 1150, I'd be treating that as a sell. Okay, Novonix. Um, so there's been a couple of, uh, I think pretty clear sort of buy signals or breakouts um, so the better opportunities are when you get these sort of low volatility moves and then, and then the break out of it. So we saw one earlier this year and then we had another sort of low volatility movement here and then another sort of breakout, you know, a couple of buy signals here and then it's, it's obviously done really well. But at the moment, I think it just needs to settle down a bit more. So we've had a you know, massive drop here, so a massive sell down on volume. Yeah, a bit of a bounce, but um, I think as a buying opportunity, you know, I think he's still a bit too risky. It, it needs to, uh, as I said, just settle down after this move. It'd be nice to see something like this or even you know, a long sort of flat low volatility move. So I think it just needs to do something a bit more like that, just you know, lower volume, lower daily ranges, um, and then wait for another clear break. All right, Sonic Healthcare. So we've, um, it's trading really well. So there was clear sort of resistance here, um, broke out a few months ago, had a run, come back to sort of retest that zone and, and has rallied really strongly. So it's come back to the old high. Obviously it's stalling a bit, but it's not getting sold down heavily. So I think it's, it's just gonna keep kicking on here and um, I think it'll just continue to rally. Okay, Gallon. So I like the way this has traded throughout the year. So ever since we had this sort of break here at the end of last year, it's been a nice sustainable uptrend. So we get we get a solid move followed by a nice consolidation, solid move, you know, sort of these flat consolidations and on we go. So it still looks really good. I've noticed that this most recent consolidation has sort of sat on top of this old high. So it's sort of broken out, come back to sit on top of that high uh, and obviously very solid move the last few days. So I think this recent break's just the next buying opportunity and I think Gallon will continue to run from here. Um, finally, computer share. So, I mean, this also has been fairly, you know, it's had a fairly good run over the last several months. I mean, pretty messy here at the start of the year, but then once it it sort of cleared this resistance line here. Yeah, nice run, came back to retest it. It's just moving up quite nicely. Um, obviously price action here is starting to look interesting. So we had a high, it's come back for a bit of a dip. So a little sort of three wave decline, rallied again, falling short of the old high, but not getting sold down heavily. So again, it could be in preparation of a move higher. So quite simply, I'd say a break above $20, clear buy signal. Obviously, we don't want to see it back under this low, so under this low, 
cell signal. So that's that's the range and they're the clear levels for it. All right, well, that's all for this week. If you have a request, send it through.